Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Piyush and in today's video, I am going to show you how to completely uninstall VS Code from your Windows computer. If you are facing any issues or just want to start fresh with a clean installation, then this video is for you. Let's dive right in. Okay, so first we need to uninstall the main program that is VS Code. And to do that, we have to follow these steps. Okay, so I'll go to my uh, Windows machine. So I don't have the physical access to this Windows key. So what I'll do is I'll do this and I'll press Windows key and I. This will open the settings screen and I'll immediately scroll down. And what I'll do is I'll open this app section and I'll scroll down and I'll search for inside installed apps. I'll go for Visual Studio Code. So I'll type Visual Studio Code. Perfect. So I see this icon Visual Studio Code as user. What I'll do is I'll click on these three dots and I'll click on this uninstall icon and it says this app and its related info will be uninstalled. I'll click on this uninstall button and then it asks me for a confirmation. Are you sure you want to completely remove Visual Studio Code and all of its components? I'll click on yes. And this will remove VS Code from your system, but it may leave behind some configuration files, extensions and settings. So VS Code has been uninstalled now and I click on this OK button. We just completed step one and now two steps are remaining. So to fully clean your system of VS Code, we need to delete some leftover files and folders. So the very first thing that we'll do is we'll delete some configuration files and settings. For that, what I'll do is I'll go to my file explorer and then I'll navigate to C and then I'll click on this users. So in my machine, the username is admin. Okay. And in your case, most likely it will be something different. So whatever is the user, simply double click on this folder. All right. Now we want to go inside the app data folder. So what I'll do is I'll click on this view and then I'll click on this show and then I'll click on this hidden items because this app data folder is mostly a hidden folder. So I click on this hidden items and I see this hidden folder is now visible now. Okay. And you can see that it is slightly grayed out. So it is a hidden folder. I'll double click on it and inside I'll see this roaming and I'll double click on it and I see this code folder. Okay. So this is the folder that I need to delete and this removes any personal settings, themes and extensions. So hold the shift key and then click on this delete button. And then it is asking me, are you sure you want to permanently delete this folder? I'll click on this yes button. Okay. So it is taking some time. Perfect. So code folder is now completely deleted. So what are we left with is step two is also done. We are remaining with now step three. So next is our final step, which is clearing the extension data. So I'll click on this admin user at the top. Again, in your case, it will be your username. So you'll have to click on your username. Okay. And then I see this dot VS code folder. So again, I'll hold this shift key and I'll click on this delete button and this will remove any global extension data. And yeah, in case you don't do step two and step three and just uninstall the VS code, you will notice that when you will install VS code again, some of your previous settings or preferences will still be there as omitting step two and three is not considered a clean installation. So I'll click on this yes button, which says, are you sure you want to permanently delete this dot VS code? I click on this yes. Okay. So my dot VS code folder is also completely deleted. Perfect. And once you are done with these three steps, it is always a good idea to reboot your computer. And this ensures that all changes are applied and your system is fresh. And just to verify if we actually did a clean installation, I'll reinstall VS code and it's a very quick step. So what I'll do is I'll open my Chrome browser and I search for download VS code, download VS code. I'll hit enter. So the very first link is the official website. So I'll click on it, download Visual studio code. Okay. Since I'm on windows machine, I'll click on this windows icon and it will start downloading VS code on my machine. So since I've anyways downloaded this VS code, I'll, I'll not wait for this setup. So this is the VS code that I've already downloaded. I'll double click on it. Okay. So it is saying me setup. I'll accept the agreement. I'll click on this next button. Okay. I'll click on this next again. Okay. It is saying visual studio code. Click on this next. Yeah. And most important thing is I want you to check these two options, add open with code action and add open with code. Check these two options. Click on the next, simply click on the install button. And so it is installing your VS code. All right. Let us wait. So it is installing VS code inside user admin. Okay. So VS code is installed. So it is showing me this option launch visual studio code. I'll simply keep it as checked. I'll click on finish. So it will open VS code for me. All right. Perfect. So I see this welcome scene and it is also asking me to choose your theme. It means it is a completely brand new VS code. I see this welcome page. 
right? So it's a completely fresh installation. So that's it for this particular video. Please do refer to the notes where I have mentioned each and every step with a screenshot, what exactly needs to be done. So you have successfully uninstalled VS Code from a Windows machine and finally we have reinstalled VS Code. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Also let me know in the comments if you have had any questions or topics you would like me to cover. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.